Hi, it's Gene, retired in Mexico, and we're going to get straight into it. No bumper. This is 100, 133 favorite artists, number 98. So I love this. I love rankings, and if you're watching, I really appreciate it. So who have I got on tap today? Well, first of all, let me tell you that uh, the criteria is below, basically ranking discographies, uh, I got a playlist for everybody, including this artist. So you can go below and you can clink, uh, clink, click on the Spotify playlist. And then also, have I seen the artists live? Uh, do I like to read magazine articles about them, etc., cetera, etc.? Cetera. So that's the criteria. And I like every kind of music, music from before I was born, music of the 21st century, um, all pretty much all genres, uh, got a really wide taste in time and style. And so today's no different. Uh, we've got a woman artist today. Uh, oh, I've got a Patreon link below too. Just, I always forget to mention that, but it's a woman artist. She's considered Americana, though I consider her a bit more roots rock. And she is from Lake Charles, Louisiana. Have you figured that out yet. Uh, there aren't too many artists from Louisiana uh, it, today. I mean, there used to be Jerry Lee Lewis and people like that. But anyhow, um, yeah, fan, never seen her live in concert. Yeah, unfortunately. But we are talking about Lucinda Williams, which is her real name, Lucinda Gay Williams. And yeah, her her lyrics and her drawl and everything is just so unique. Uh, she's not, she doesn't sing about typical country stuff. So, you know, what do I have by her? I have car wheels on a gravel road. And I also technically own Essence and World Without Tears, but I think those are down at the record store because I'm downsizing. Uh, yeah, I'm getting old. So I got to start getting rid of stuff. If I can stream it, I stream it. But yeah, I still have uh, this one in the house. And so anyway, what do I like about her? Well, I, I like her lyrics. And I also like the fact that she does a lot of covers, does a lot of duets, does a lot of tribute albums. Her name is popping up all the time. When I uh, put her name into Discogs to see what I have by her, she came up on all sorts of people's albums that she uh, duetted with and uh, or did background vocals. So, yeah, she's uh, peppered all through uh, the rest of my discography. Uh, I'm used to hearing her voice, and it's nice. So, yeah, I think in the last 20 years, she may have lost just a touch of her mojo. Her best work is from the 90s, I feel. Though a lot of people like those first two official albums. She had a couple early ones that you can't get on Spotify. But yeah, so lyrically, um, I wanted to just read this real quick from this song, Righteously, from World Without Tears. Now, I'll close after this. Uh, she doesn't really have a verse chorus. She sings... Uh, she sings it once, then she sings exactly the same words a second time, then she has a one-minute electric guitar outro. But I think these are wonderful lyrics. She says, you don't have to prove your manhood to me constantly. I know you're the man, can't you see? I love you righteously, why you want to diss me? After the way you've been kissing me, after those pretty things you say and the love we made today, when you run your hand all up and run it back down my leg, get excited and bite my neck, get me all worked up like that, think this through, I laid it down for you every time. Respect me, I give you what's mine, you're entirely way too fine, arms around my waist, you get a taste of how good this can be, be the man you ought to tender, be the man you ought to tenderly, stand up for me, Flirt with me, don't keep hurting me, don't cause me pain, be my lover, don't play no game, just play me John Coltrane. She repeats that. So, you know, I was just listening to um, Stephen Wilson and uh, that other guy on his album years podcast talking about the year 2000, and they were discussing Ryan Adams. 
And here's what Stephen Wilson said about the Ryan Adams album. He says, I hear about drinking whiskey, Pontiacs, and hanging out with the girls under the bleachers. And he said, it's way too familiar. I agree with that. But with Lucinda Williams, it's never all too familiar. It's always special. It's from her perspective. When she sings uh, Car Wheels on a Gravel Road, these are not typical lyrics that you would hear in country music. So, yeah, I really like her. And that's it. Um, If you like what I'm doing, like I say, hit that like or subscribe button. And as we say here in Bonita, Mexico, buen dia, and I always appreciate your opinions. Thanks.